What's up everybody, welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith, and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the latest release from Vinnie Sagu at Neo Magic. And this, this right here, this is Spin. So what is the trick or routine? Basically, this is a badge which attaches via two magnets, so it can be used on any clothing at all. It's a badge which has Magician wrote on this, and when you spin it, it's got Ace of Spades. This badge holds a secret, as you can do a magic trick and then use the badge to reveal the Ace of Spades as seen on the badge. It's a great little icebreaker for magicians who are scared about approaching a table or a group of people to perform for them, because you can just sort of say, hi, I'm a magician, as you can see from the badge, do the trick, do that, show the Ace of Spades, trick's done, it's a nice little icebreaker. How much is this trick? It's available directly from Neo Magic for £15. It's available online and in their store now. Before we get any further in the video, here's a quick performance of Vinnie performing this at the Blackpool Magic Convention 2024 that I filmed when I was there, just so you can get a general gist of what the trick is and how it performs. Hi, I'm Vinnie Sagu and uh, I'm the magician here. Uh, as you can tell from my very fancy badge here, and we have the lovely Rara. Rara, okay, nice it's to meet me. you. Uh, and you're going to just pick a card for me if you just say stop. 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 You're going to get that card. Have you got it? Yep. Yeah. Have you got the card? Watch this. In a second, I'm going to click my fingers. Your card's going to be in the top. Ready? Go. Have a look at the top card. Is that it? No? No. What was your card? Yes, spades. Have a look at my magician badge. Magician. What do you get with spin? So you get the badge itself, which of course shows magician one way, and when you turn it the other way, it says Ace of Spades. You also get a magnet attached to the badge, and another one to use to attach the badge to your clothing too, so you put the other magnet on the inside. There's also instructions of how to use this, but to be fair, it's pretty self-explanatory. If needed though, there is a QR code on the instructions leaflet itself and there's also a link to the website which has a 3 minute and 31 second tutorial video. I just want to jump in here as well, now that we're sort of a bit through the video, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel, watched the video and also left a comment. It's really, really appreciated. If you are subscribed then it would be absolutely amazing amazing if you could subscribe to the channel as it would help it massively it would promote it in the algorithm and just really push the channel along so i can do more videos like this and with that being said let's get back to the video let's talk about ease of performing and when and where you can perform this so firstly it's super simple and very easy to perform and you can perform this pretty much anywhere you want of course, the badge element is easy to do, but needs some magic on your behalf to actually make it work. This can be either done by a simple force, or you can do some mentalism effect. Um, most of the time when you ask a male participant to name a card, it's generally going to be Ace of Spades, so you're set up and good to go. If not, you can do a, a card force. Personally, I use the riffle force or something like that, but even a cross-cut force works easily as good or even just some sort of magician's choice to get to that Ace of Spades. Can it be passed out to be inspected? Of course it can. After all, it is just a badge of magnets on there, so you won't give away any magic secrets when they look at it. Is it well made? Yes, it's very well made and should last a long time when used properly. I wouldn't advise throwing this in your pocket with your keys as it might scratch the front and won't be any use anymore, but I can't see why this wouldn't last for a long time when used for performances and being stored away correctly. Magnets are fairly strong too and should last a long time. Let's talk about some positives. So the price is very cheap for prop, which is something that you can wear all of the time and get some decent mileage out of it, especially for tricks and things like that. Um, it's really easy to perform as you're just rotating a badge, so anyone can do this at all. Um, the only thing is to reveal the the playing card to sort of force that. That takes a bit of work, but anyone who's got any playing card knowledge should know how to do this. But yeah, anyone can do the reveal. Basically, if you can do that, you can do the magic trick. It's a fantastic idea, I think, and I love something simple like this to be used as a talking point to strangers, and I'm going to try and implement this into my EDC too. I think it'll be really good as well if you are a magician at wedding fairs, so you can have the badge on, and obviously you're going to have your stand with all your magic stuff, but you can just use this as like a, a really nice icebreaker, just get and talk and someone say, oh hi, if you haven't realised, this is my stuff, I'm a magician, as you can see here, with the name badge. We're just going to do this little card trick, it's of spades, do that, bang. On to the next one, really good. Now, let's talk about negatives. As with all things, there's got to be some drawbacks to good things, and for me, this comes in shape of the magnets. The magnets are good, but they are quite small. 
So while the magnets are a good idea for what's needed for the trick, I know from using magnetic microphones for video work that sometimes they can be a bit fiddly and have the potential to get lost as these are much smaller than the microphone magnets I'm used to and I've lost some of them in the past so I'll no doubt lose these. But you can actually go on Vinny's website and get some spares so you can get the correct size for the magnets for replacements. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when you get the, the other magnet from the inside, put it under the clothing to clip it on, sometimes you might drop that magnet, it'll fall on the floor, and as it's small, it might be, have a hard time to try and find it. But that happens, such is life. Thank you so much for watching through the video. I hope you enjoyed this magic review. I've been enjoying shooting some live performances as well. So when I do reviews from magic tricks and things like that, I've got these live performances to go in with the review and it's been really good. I'm going to be shooting some more reviews of tricks for the channel so hopefully I'll keep up with those and get more of these on the channel. So if you're into that sort of thing make sure you click subscribe button and notify bell so you'll be notified of all the videos as soon as they're released. Until next time, see ya!